welcome to Action 242. As we wrap up our little series on the values that Jesus taught that are so opposed and upside down compared to the values of the world. When the Jewish leaders said about the disciples, these men have turned the whole world upside down, they obviously meant that they've caused chaos. But literally, that is our job, to turn the world upside down. Or if you like, to turn it the right way up, because it is so upside down and it is so confused. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. And one of the ways in which the world is foolish is by telling people, get ahead, uh, pursue a career, pursue your self-interest, be a success, become a leader, aim for power, grasp for your rights. And Jesus was very different. And think about this, the creator of the universe came and he said, the son of man has come not to be served, but to serve. And the greatest in my kingdom are those who will be the least. And we kind of can throw that around as little cliches. But if we stop and think about it for a moment, we realize the values of Jesus are so upside down. Basically, what he was saying is the way to be a success in God's eyes is to go down, not to go up. You know, when he spoke to Nicodemus, Jesus said, the Holy Spirit, um, the wind blows where it will. And you know, I can't control the wind and I can't tell where it's going to blow, but I, I can actually have a rough idea. You see, wind is simply air moving from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. And I think the Holy Spirit's the same. He is always attracted to areas of low pressure, to low places. And that's why scripture, for example, says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. It tells us that he opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. We need to be a people who are looking not for what we can get, but for what we can give. Not who we can have power over, but who we can serve. Not grasping for our rights, but, withhold, but holding onto our responsibilities. That is the heart of Jesus, that we're not seeking to be first, but we're always seeking to be putting other people first. That leadership in the kingdom of God is not about control or lording it over or power, but it's simply about service and love in action. That needs to be our heart. And whoever we are, whoever we think we are in the kingdom, Jesus said, rather take a seat of law honor, a law position, and be raised up than try and take a high position and to be cast down. Finally, a very quick story in the USA. Uh, a man called Francis Frangipani was known as a bit of an expert on spiritual warfare and he was called into churches. And uh, pastors of churches would say to him, we feel spiritual resistance. What is the spirit that is opposing us? And on one occasion, he said to the leaders, uh, the spirit that is opposing you is the spirit of Yahweh. They said, Yahweh is the name of God. He said, yeah, God is opposing you because he opposes the proud. Let's ask ourselves as we move forward, do we want to be opposed by God or do we want to be recipients of the grace of God? If we want his grace, let us take low positions, the positions of servanthood. Let us consider ourselves the least and others greater and we will see God move powerfully.